Hello everyone, it's me ASMR if welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of color grading in a photography. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I got some images and thanks to Julia Oli and uh, this is her or his snap, actually her snap and uh, I'm just editing only for the education purpose. So taking this one into another window, this one is raw image. That's why it's opening in the camera 13.0.2. And here all the stops that means the information of uh, photograph over here. And after that, going to the open option and open as object. I'll open it up in uh, open as object. Press control or command J, it will give you another copy of this layer right press and restylize the layer and then going to the filter again going to the camera filter now i will apply the preset which i made it for you guys going to the load settings options from here i'll find you that uh, xmp file that is the beauty and load it up and you are getting the effects like that before and after so let's see what I have done and uh, what was the effects I applied over here. The temperature minus 12 and here the exposure plus 0.15 and high lights that is minus 7, shadow minus 24, whites minus 60 and the blacks minus 11 and the vibrance that is uh, plus 8. From the basic we are going to the curve options here we lock over here the input value to output value 22 input value 23 output value 31 input value here 115 and the output value 113 here input value 255 and output value 245 yeah from the detailing option sharpening we are getting over here it's totally up to you if you don't want to give this type of value of sharpening you can reduce this value like that so from here going to the color mixture hue saturation luminance in color mixture panel you are getting three things hue which color will be saturation percentage of the color luminance intensity of the color hue minus 20 and the orange minus 18 and minus 26 for the yellow and here the green plus 65 and the blue minus 16 and saturation yellow saturation minus 23 green minus 83 and aqua plus 41 here the blue that is 49 and the purples that is uh, 32 and here magenta plus 59 and luminance made the luminance uh, this one red 15 orange plus 58 yellow plus 46 minus 45 for the green aqua 0 and the blue plus 45 actually 49 and color grading this is the most important thing for uh, retouching or color grading a photo here stands three portion another is shadow here the mid-tone and uh, the highlight so shadow here is a hue and saturation which color will be it defines with this value that is uh, hue 244 and the saturation 7 that means the percentage of that if you change this one it will totally change up to the levels that means changing up the whole scenario and here the midtones i made it 0 and 0 and here uh, the highlights that is 70 you get if you change this one totally the scenario will change so here i just got this one 70 for the perfect one and the saturation that is the percentage 32 that's good and from here optics i didn't use geometry i didn't use effects i used some vignetting uh, which is like that and that is actually minus 12 you can uh, edit this one you can increase or decrease totally up to you here the calibration i made the calibration of the red primary here the uh, red primary plus 43 if i change this one it will be like pink or other rails and here the saturation zero and again the hue of the green primary you can change you will get the change over here but i made this one plus 45 and the saturation zero here the blue primary minus one you can change if you change this one you'll get the changes 
uh, the prominent of these things so you're getting over here so you can adjust all the stuffs if you want actually so i made here minus one and zero saturation and hitting the ok button so after using that things let's see the before and after that is fine everything good but here the prominent of the models and the colors of the dress face lips here everything you are getting the prominent way and that is the posh things and the creative way so after that going to filter again and going to the nick collection i'm using another plugins which is the nick collection and uh, from that color effects pro and i'll provide you that download link in my favorite description from here i'm using the cross processing and lots of sub method over here which one is perfect for your photography c01 here t01 over here so i'm using the t01 and here the 33 percent the strength if you increase it will be changed the color uh, things and hit the ok button so after using that it will uh, take a little bit times to reload or load the or apply the effects and it will provide you the final output let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting like this from here i'm going to the levels options so going to the levels option i'll changing the point yeah that's fine before and after so all the colors uh, what i just given over here in a phase we are getting this color and the mid-tone we are getting over here this color and uh, this one into over there actually in this portion and that portion the orange in a lips and here the background that is little bit bluish and aqua dark aqua whatever it is and the dress color the magenta so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to give the credit line of my presets and you can use this one only for the personal use not for the commercial uses so if you have any kind of question please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i'm mc marib signing out stay safe stay nice and happy keep me in your prayers as well and until the next video bye bye